we're back and in this video we're going to do distances so this first example then is going to be the distance from a point to a line right so here we got a point and then uh, and then we got an equation of a line that's given to us all right and so how do we find the equation of a line uh, how do we find the distance from a point to the equation of a line well there's a formula okay and in a lot of these cases in a lot of this class, really, you just have a formula that you need to plug this stuff into and then you need to get stuff out of. All right. So what do we need to do? Well, the, the idea is this. The distance, D, is going to equal uh, the, the absolute value of PS cross V. All right. Uh, I'll explain what that is later. And then divided by the absolute value of V. All right. Or, okay, so not absolute value, but the magnitude, right? Because PS cross something, so PS is going to be a vector, V is going to be a vector, and so when you have absolute value signs around a vector, it means the magnitude, and in the bottom we have a vector, all right? So what is PS? Well, if we treat this as point P, all right, to find the distance from this point to a line, we need to find, so we need a point S on the line, and v is the vector part of the line. So if you remember above, right, from the earlier videos, right, we talked about how do we find the equation of a line. We have a point and we have a vector that is associated with that line. So we need to find what that vector is. Well, that's easy here because we can see that v is going to be then, well, what is it? It's... 2 comma 2 comma 2 right just looking at the coefficients in front of the t's so we've got 2t x equals 2t y equals 1 plus 2t and z equals 2t okay and then the next part then is we need a point s on the line so at t equals 0 right at t equals 0 um, we have this point 0 1 0 right so if you just plug in t equals 0 into that line equation it gives you a point on the line right so now what is ps well, PS then is going to be, it looks like negative 2, 0, uh, positive 1, okay? And now distance is equal to PS cross V over the magnitude of V. So maybe not distance first, but what is PS cross V? Well, that is equal to I, J, K, negative 2, 0, 1, and V is 2, 2, 2, okay? And now what? Okay, so now uh, do, 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 we take this cross product, which is i times 0, 1, 2, 2, all right, minus j times negative 2, 1, 2, 2, plus k times the determinant of negative 2, 0, 2, 2, okay? And so we need to calculate this. And what do I get? I get then, da, 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 da. okay, so this is negative 2i, and then this becomes minus a negative 6, so plus 6j, and then this becomes minus 4k, all right? So that's equal to 2, 6, or negative 2, 6, negative 4, and the magnitude is then equal to uh, root 4 plus 36 plus 16, which looks like is root 56. Okay, And for now, let's just leave it like that. All right, now, what's the next part? Well, the next part is we need the magnitude of v. And v is 2, 2, 2, so that's easy. So the magnitude of v is then the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared, right, since v is 2, 2, 2. And so that's 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to root 12. All right. And then finally, uh, D then now is equal to magnitude of PS cross V over the magnitude of V, which is equal to root 56 over root 12. Uh, the same thing as root 14 thirds. All right. And I guess this is good enough. It depends on, like, on the homework, how they want their answers to be in or on exam, um, what your multiple choice questions are. All right, multiple choice selections 
um, can be. So that's that's a perfectly good uh, answer here. Okay, so this is the distance from a point to a line. All right. Now, uh, and one quick thing, I know the book sometimes, the book might call this guy what I'm calling S, they might call that P, and they might call this guy S. I mean, it's the same thing because you're just taking the magnitude, right, of a cross product. So you get the same answer either way. Um, you're fine, okay? Anyways, next part is then the equation from a point to a uh, distance from a point to a plane, all right? And in this example, what do I want to do? Let's do then, oh, let's see. Hmm. I'm, I'm literally just going through book problems. Let's do 44. So 12, 5, 44, which is the following. You have a point, which is 1, 0, negative 1. And then you got a plane, um, which I call pi. Okay, so pi is not a variable, right? Pi, do, uh, pi is not 3.14. 159 okay a pi is a variable all right and it's because pi like plane and pi they have the same first letter you know so that's why we use pi to denote a plane and pi is not equal to but pi is this plane negative 4x plus y plus z equals 4 okay so what is how do we find the distance from a point to a plane well we have the following formula distance from a point to a plane is equal to ps dotted with n over the magnitude of n and then you want to take the absolute value of that okay or let's see we can just do the absolute value of ps dot n over the magnitude of n and so what is ps again well you can treat p as the point in space you can treat s as a point in the plane and n is the normal vector Okay, and then what do we want to do? Well, what's a point in the plane? Well, from this equation here, right, we need to choose a point in the plane, and it looks like negative 1, 0, 0 works, right? No one has any any, any issues with that. Um, you can also choose 0, 4, 0, or 0, 0, 4. Those all work because it satisfies the plane equation. All right, so let s equal negative 1, 0, 0. Again, you can choose anything that satisfies the plane equation here. And then, all right, so what is PS? Well, PS then, uh, this guy, give the given point we'll call P. And so PS will be negative 2, 0, uh, positive 1. Okay. And, oh, that's, that's a coincidence, is it? It's the same. Oh, it's the same. Okay, well, that, that's a complete coincidence. And uh, N is our normal vector, which we can just get from the plane coefficients, right? It's going to, be, going to be negative 4, 1, 1, which are the coefficients in front of x, y, z. Okay? And so now, well, ps is a vector. So now we need ps dot n. And uh, ps dot n is equal to 8 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 9. And what's the magnitude of n? The magnitude of n is equal to... Um, let's see, uh, 4 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared over the square root of that, so root 18. And so this is 9 over root 18. So D is going to be the magnitude of PS dot N over magnitude of N, or the absolute value of PS dot N over the magnitude of N, and that's equal to uh, 9 over root 18, which is actually, uh, we should simplify this, 9 over 3 root 2, so 3 over root 2, um, or 3 root 2 over 2. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, just got the 18 out of the denominator. Okay, and so that's the uh, equation from a line to a plane uh, or, or from point to a plane, the distance from a point to a plane. That's what we're doing here. And what's the big deal? The big deal is that distance should always be a positive number. Okay, so here distance, is, uh, this dot product ended up being positive, um, which is good. Um, but if it were negative, right, then you need to just take the absolute value of it, okay? So this dot product here should always be positive. Um, this dot product uh, needs to be forced, needs to be forced to be positive, right? And that's, and that's what this absolute value sign is. Again, don't be dumb. Well, let's just think clearly here, right? Distance, can't have negative distance. You need a positive distance, so 
you need a positive number here okay and same thing above don't get a negative number you really shouldn't get a negative number when you're taking magnitudes but with dot product it's a little more tricky so okay that's distances next video don't remember what we're gonna do let's scroll up to see what we're gonna do here uh intersection of two planes and lines okay so we're just gonna see what happens when we uh have shit colliding with each other and uh yeah let's let's move on